Hey y'all, in this lesson, we're gonna be learning about special right triangles. Those are 45, 45, 90 triangles and 30, 60, 90 triangles. These two types of triangles not only follow the Pythagorean theorem, but they also have their own little ratios that make solving for missing sides very simple. So let's first look at an isosceles right triangle. So isosceles means two of the sides are the same, which means that two of the angles are the same. We call this a 45, 45, 90. So I have a picture down here below of that. And since two of the angles are the same, two of the sides are the same. So we're gonna use a little bit of algebra. I'm gonna label my sides here to help us come up with this ratio. Uh, the two sides are the same. So we can call, I'm just gonna call both of the side, I'm sorry, I should say legs, both of the legs A. Since they're equal, we can use substitution um, and say that they're both side length A. And we're gonna use that and the Pythagorean theorem to find side length C. So it's true for the Pythagorean theorem that A squared plus B squared is C squared, but B is equal to A. So I'm gonna use another A there instead. Since they're the same, we can use substitution. Then some basic algebra, if I have a squared and a squared, that makes two a squared. Then if I'm solving for C, I'm gonna square root both sides. We're only gonna focus on the positive square root since we're talking about length. And then some more simplification I'm going to, uh, if I take the square root of two, two is prime, so I can't really do anything. And then the square root of a squared is a. So this becomes a pops out, square root of two stays under. So I can say that for any right triangle, not right, I'm sorry, any 45, 45, 90 triangle, the ratio is a, uh, let me, let me, make this better, a 45, 45, 90 triangle follows the ratio A, A, A root two. So if you can find one side, then you can find all three sides. So these are unique because um, in normal right triangle, well, these are normal, but in other right triangles, not special ones, uh, you have to have two sides. And in these cases, the case of the 45, 45, 90 and the 30, 60, 90, if you just have one side, you can find the other two missing sides using the ratio. Uh, you'll probably see this if you were to Google it or something, you'll probably see this as X, X, X root two, but it's just any variable there, it's fine as long as you have that same model. So from this, we can conclude that the hypotenuse length is the length of a leg times square root two. So we only need one of the three sides. Now we're gonna look at a 30, 60, 90 triangle. I'm gonna label this again, this is side A because it's across from angle A, side B because it's across from angle B, side C. If side C equals two times side A, then we can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for B. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared, but C is 2A. Then I'm gonna simplify A squared plus B squared equals 4A squared. You square the two, square the A, subtract A squared to the other side, Take the square root, <clears throat> simplify, A comes out, three stays under. So now we can write this ratio, 30, 60, 90, as A, A root three, two A, or you could use X's instead. You're not in this, if you're taking my class, you're not gonna be expected to derive this every time. 
but you will definitely be seeing those ratios over and over again. Uh, especially if you go further along in the course, trigonometry course, you're going to be seeing these specific triangles a lot. So it's going to be good to familiarize yourself with these ratios. Uh, so this is a very important thing to keep in mind. If you have like a, a running sheet of formulas, then that would be really good to put on there. Notice that the shortest side is always opposite the smallest angle and the longest side is always opposite the right angle. So just kind of keep that in mind whenever you're working on examples. So now that we have our ratios, we can use these ratios as a tool to help us solve problems. So that's kind of the whole thing of math. You have all these tools and you want to pick out which tool is the best to complete the job. And in this specific case, we have a couple of triangles here and it's important to note what kind of triangles they are. In the first example, we have a 4590 that we can see. And we know if we were to subtract 180 minus 90 plus 45, or if you just know isosceles triangles, this is gonna be 45 degrees also. And let me zoom in on this so we can focus on that. I also know, so before you can start a problem, you wanna take stock of what you were given. We were given that this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So off the bat, I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna write my ratio x, x, x root two, because I'm gonna use that ratio to solve this problem. The other thing I know about this triangle is that one of the sides is given to me. And I need to know which side that is. Is it a leg or a hypotenuse? In this case, it's the hypotenuse. So if I can use my knowledge of the hypotenuse of a 45, 45, 90 triangle, this part right here, because I have the side opposite of the 90 degree angle, then by substitution, I can say that 16 is going to be equal to the ratio or the part of the ratio associated with the 90 degree angle. The hypotenuse is always going to follow this model. So I know that 16 is going to be equal to x root 2. Then if I solve for x, I'm going to divide by root 2 on both sides. and you might have learned in algebra that when the square root's under the uh, fraction bar, when it's, in, when it's in the denominator, it's not completely simplified. So we want to do what's called simplify, no, rationalize the denominator. I'm sorry about that. Rationalize the denominator. I'm going to go to a different sheet of paper so that I can have some extra space here. We've got 16 over root 2. Now to rationalize a denominator, in this case, all we have to do is multiply by what's ever in the denominator on the top and bottom. So that means I have 16 square root two over square root four. Simplify, square root four is two. And then I'm going to reduce the outsides. 16 over two is eight. So completely simplified x is 8 square root 2. Now, this is kind of nice because based on my ratio, I was given this side, and I needed to find these sides, and those sides are equal to x. So I've done it. The missing sides are 8 square root 2 and 8 square root 2. So the three sides of this triangle are 8 root 2, 8 root 2, and 16. And that's it. We have found every missing piece of this triangle. In the second example, we are given two angles and one side. Now we have all the information we need to determine which tool we're going to use for this problem. We have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And we have one side, and the one side is opposite of the 60 degrees. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to write my ratio out. I have 30, 60, 90. And my ratio is x 
x root 3, 2x. I was given the side across from the 60 degree angle. So I'm going to use this to help me solve for x. This is so nice. I love stuff like this. It just sets up perfectly. That's what I like about math. Okay, so we have x, uh oh, sorry, wrong tool. x square root three is equal to square root six based on what I have set up above the problem. I'm gonna divide both sides by square root three. If we do some simplifying, we get square root two for x. So actually I have one side, x is root two. And then the last side will be two times root two. And that's it, we're done. So across from the 30 is square root two, across from the 90 is two root two. And now we have all missing pieces of this triangle. So I want you to use those two examples to try to solve the third one. So pause it, try it on your own, come back and check your work. Okay, so for x, uh, sorry, back up. You are given the side across from the 60 degree angle. So you're gonna use the x root three side of the ratio to solve for x. When you solve for x and rationalize the denominator, then simplify, you get four square root three. So that is one of the missing sides across from the 30 degree angle. Then we're gonna use that to find the hypotenuse, which is two times x. Since we were given x, we just plug it in. Two times four, since four is outside the square root, we get eight square root three. If you're unsure about your answer, you can plug it into the Pythagorean theorem, make sure it checks out, and those are your solutions. So we found all missing parts of this triangle. Determine if the sets of lengths below are special right triangles, and if so, which type of right triangle? So we have, let's look at this first example, eight square root three, 24, and 16 square root three. So we're just trying to see which one does this fit into, if it fits into one. Now, a 45, 45, 90 triangle has two of the same sides. So, Spoiler alert, this one's not going to be a 45, 45, 90, but we can check to see if it is a 30, 60, 90. Now, right off the bat, I'm looking at the smallest side and the largest side. We have 8 square root 3 and 16 square root 3. If this is a 30, 60, 90, it's supposed to follow um, x, x root 3, and 2x. And I focused on the smallest and the largest side because if I were to multiply this by two, I would get this. So this, this looks promising. I say, I'm saying two times eight root three is 16 root three. So that's good. The next thing I need to check is if eight square root three times square root three is 24. So I'm gonna do a little bit of manipulation here with algebra, square root three times square root three is nine, square root nine is three, eight times three is 24. Dun, dun, dun. So it fits. Um, this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Since we were given X, we could plug X into our ratio and see if it checked out, and it did, so there's that. Now this next one, you'll notice that two of the sides are the same, which means <clears throat> we're gonna be checking to see if it matches the 45, 45, 90 ratio. So we're gonna put our 45, 45, 90 ratio here, and then we're just checking to see if it fits. So go ahead and try it, pause it, try it, come back. Since we were given x as square root six, and then there's another square root six, the first two sides check out. For the last side, we need to do square root six times square root two, throw those numbers under the same square root, we get square root 12, so that one checks out. This is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. That's all I have today for special right triangles. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to help. See you in the next one.